Welcome to my task list, where I'll be going through tasks to set things up with easy to follow instructions as I go so you can follow along. If I'm going too fast or slow, please use the YouTube playback speed controls in the settings cog of the video. I will link to devices and software used in the description below. Today's task is to wipe a Cisco switch with an unknown history and password. There are a few reasons you may want to do this. Number one is when you resell or donate hardware, it is best to remove the configuration files so no one else has easy access to the inner architecture of your network. Another reason is if you buy a previously loved device, you will likely not want the previous configurations to conflict with what you were going to put on it. And finally, this method I am about to show you will allow you to bring it back to factory defaults without knowing the previous passwords. The switch in this example is a Cisco 2960. This is a fairly old switch, but they are common and found in many home labs still. This happens to be small and easy to film, as well as being fanless. To do this task, you will need physical access to the switch a console cable, and USB serial adapter. In this case, I'll be using a pluggable model and a terminal emulator. I'll be using PuTTY. To reset the switch, we will boot into Raman. The method of getting into Raman can vary from switch to switch, but it should be some variation of holding or pressing the mode button during or immediately after the switch is plugged in. On this model, you press and hold it for approximately 15 seconds upon plugging in. The mode button is seen at the bottom left-hand corner here. I'm going to attempt to press it while unplugging. This could get a little bit uh, tricky. So with it unplugged, I'm going to press it and hold it while I boot it up. That was approximately 15 seconds. There we go. So now we are in Raman mode. At this point, we're going to type in flash underscore init. Now we're going to see what's in the directory of the flash on this device by typing dir flash colon. Here we see that we have the VLAN database, two Cisco images on here. We have the private config.txt, multiple fs, and config.txt. Now, my plan is to go back to factory defaults, so I will be deleting vlan.dat, private config.txt, I will also conf uh, delete multiple fs and config.txt. I'll be leaving the bins because those are images and are needed. So we start one after the other. And I like to copy and paste because it's easy. Yes, I want to delete and it's deleted. So D you type in del flash colon then the file name. Then at the very end, I check it again just to make sure that there's nothing else there and all that's left is the image. So from this point you'll type in boot and it'll go through the boot process. Alright, at this point we see that the switch is loaded and it's asking me to uh, start the initial configuration dialog. At this point, the switch is factory defaulted. Now you can go about programming it however you wish. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be working on some more coming up soon. Thank you.